हेलो माय लवली स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू इच वन ऑफ यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक होप सो यू ऑल इन्जॉयड इन योर हॉलीडेज होप सो दिस हॉलीडेज रिफ्रेश यू यू लुक यू टुक इनफ रेस्ट एंड यू इनर्जाइज योर सेल्फ सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एज यूजल लेट स्टार्ट विद द पॉजिटिव माइंड सेट डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम दिस मैसेज वॉज द लास्ट मैसेज बिफोर डाइंग द फॉर्मर प्रेजिडेंट when he passed away at the age of 83 in his last meet with the students at shillong so in his last meet he motivated the student with this thought that is dream 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 dreams transform into thoughts and thoughts result into the action in this message he was addressing the youth of this country about to think innovatively think out of box think little bit different and never stop dreaming because if you will dream it will transform one day into your thoughts if you will thought positively so it will result to the positive action okay so with this today i am going to appeal all of you you need to think positively and you need to act positively because a positive mindset can make anything possible in the life okay सो वेलकम टू डिजिटल क्लासेस दिस इज सेम थीम दस से बारह वाला हर घर बने पाठशाला दिस इज योर केमिस्ट्री पीरियड वी आर डूइंग यूनिट थ्री इलेक्ट्रो केमिस्ट्री ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक ऑल द टॉपिक्स दैट वी हैव डन ऑलरेडी इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो यू आर कमिंग आफ्टर टेन डेज तो होप सो यू रिमेंबर यू स्टडीड यू वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज विच वॉज यूर होमवर्क इन द हॉलीडेज एंड यू हैज मेड योर ब्रीफिंग ऑल्सो but some of the student as <clears throat> i have seen that those students are not sharing any content with me so it is my request from those students please be serious and send those uh, study contents or whatever you have done to me on my whatsapp okay so this is uh, electrochemistry and already we are doing the, the, this <clears throat> and already we have done this definition so basically this unit 3 is coming of marks 3 in exam and what is electrochemistry according to this definition electrochemistry is the study of chemical reactions which takes place at the interface of the electrode usually solid metal or semiconductor electrodes and inside the an elect ionic conductor or electrolyte it is basically you can see here in this picture it is basically the chemistry of these electrode which is immersed inside the electrolytes which is basically known as simple cell which we are using in daily life it can be also defined as electrochemistry deal with the interaction between electric energy and chemical uh, changes it is uh, basically the branch of chemistry which deal with the study of chemical changes which occur passing electric current into certain chemical system and also with the generation of electricity by carrying chemical reaction okay if you were want to know in the simple form so it is a branch of chemistry which deal with the study of the basic chemistry in the chemicals by generating electricity okay so dear students oxidation reduction why there is need to study oxidation reduction in electrochemistry because it is giving us the electronic concept of oxidation reduction it is telling us about the transformation of electron from one electrode to another electron it is the process in which an atom or ion loses one or more electron okay so basically as we have seen the term redox it came from redox in which reduction and oxidation occur and it refer a electrochemical process which involving electronic transfer to for uh, to or from a molecule ion ionic changes its state okay and the atom or molecule which loses electron is known as reducing agent and the molecule which accept electron is known as oxidizing agent so what is reducing agent it is the loss of electron and what is oxidizing agent it is the acceptation of electron from any substances okay so why we are studying the oxidation reduction process in electrochemistry because it is giving us the knowledge about yeah we are studying under this uh, the transformation of electron from one molecule to other molecule okay by the process of uh, loss of electron and gain of electron so this is a balancing redox reaction you did in plus 1 class so in which one uh, one molecule which is losing electron suppose here if i will see h2o is breaking down into h2 h plus o positive and it is losing five electron so it is loss of electron those molecule which loss of electron is called oxidation and gain of electron is called reduction so here it is gaining electron that's why it is called reduction and whereas in upper cases it is loss of electron then it is oxidation now it is gain of electron that's why it is reduction 
okay so this is the process because of that we can study electrochemistry so basically electrochemical cell we are studying in electrochemistry electrochemical cell is also known as galvanic cell a redox reaction occur when the oxidizing agent or which gain electron is in contact with the reducing agent the reducing agent is those agent which lose electron Le once again just clear this term redox reaction is reaction of oxidation and reduction in which oxidizing agent which gain electron and uh, when it is coming in contact with the reducing agent which is losing electron and the electron which is transferred directly from reducing agent to oxidizing agent this process is called direct redox reaction and direct redox reaction is is the basic principle of electrochemical cell and what is electrochemical cell it is a device in which a redox reaction is carried indirectly and the decrease in free energy appear as the electric energy okay it is basically a device which is capable of either generating electric energy from chemical reaction generating electric energy from chemical reaction try to understand generating electric energy from chemical reaction or facilitating chemical reaction through the introduction of electric energy there are two two things that we need to take care in electrochemical cell number one generating electric energy it produce electric energy from chemical reaction mean that transfer of chemical energy into electric energy transfer of chemical energy into electric energy okay and second is elect uh, con uh, uh, facilitating chemical reaction it mean that breaking down of chemical reaction by applying electric energy it mean that transfer of electric energy into chemical energy okay so there are two uh, process in electrochemical cell it mean that two type of cell we will study in which one the electric energy chemical energy transfer into electric energy and second in electric energy can transfer into chemical energy okay so now we will going to start i'm going to tell you about the basic components of electrochemical cell mean electrochemical cell is made up of what things number one it is made up of electrode so basically electrochemical cell have two half cell two container in which each container is carrying one electrode as cathode and other electrode as anode in which uh, which is immersed in the electrolytes or chemical solution okay which is breaking down the solution into ions second the chemical reaction in the cell may involve the electrolytes the electrode and an external substances so a chemical reaction in that particular electrochemical cell it involved electrolytes a solution ionic solution electrode a metal or semiconductor and an external substance is also salt bridge so basically you need to study in a chemical cell electrode study of electrode study of electrolytes and study of salt bridge okay in a full electrochemical cell the species of one half cell so as we studied here two half cell in which one half cell will be oxidation and second half cell will be the reduction okay one will show the oxidation and second will show the reduction so now try to understand the electrochemical cell with the help of this diagram as we have already studied there are two container two half one is this second is this there are two half cell in a chemical reaction in which these half cell have two solution suppose in one this uh, this side half cell this side of a uh, half uh, half cell have copper sulfate as electrolyte and this side of half cell have zinc sulfate as electrolyte in copper sulfate copper is the rod which is immersed electrode and in zinc sulfate zinc is the electrode which immersed okay these two electrode are immersed in a electrolyte and it is connected with a circuit that circuit is an electric circuit okay and uh, the copper rod which losing electron is known as cathode okay loss of electron is called cathode and it is called oxidation this side because loss of electron is there this side uh, sorry this is gain of electron uh, i do apologize this side it is gain of electron so gain of electron is called reduction and on the other hand side this side it is reduction and on the other hand side it is oxidation because this side zinc is losing two electron when zinc losing two electron it is called oxidation and when copper gain two electron that is called reduction okay so here in this particular cell copper is positively charged electrode and zinc is negatively charged electrode so what we studied our electrochemical cell is made up of two half cell in which two electrode electrolytes are there uh, and inside the electrolytes there is electrode which immersed which is cathode and anode one which is losing electron which is gaining electron that is called reduction another which is losing electron that is called oxidation so this is reduction and oxidation process which complete the electrochemical cell and ex addition in addition this there is one salt bridge also which is external you can see this is salt bridge which uh, maintain the neutrality which connect the two half cell which is made up of uh, potassium chloride in which k is positive cl is negative 
and with the gelatinous when this this salt spill is connecting two half cell what happen then the electron is transferring from reduction side to oxidation side okay and the bulb will glow okay so this is the process of electrochemical cell now in detail electrochemical cell have uh, acha before going to tell about two type of electrochemical uh, cell there is a salt bridge salt bridge is a it is oftenly uh, employed to provide ionic contact between two half cell with different electrolytes and prevent the solution from mixing the causing unwanted side reaction okay it is made up of filter paper soaked by kno3 and some other electrolytes it is an alternative uh main function of salt bridge is it is an alternative to salt bridge which is allowed direct contact between the two half cell and it also allow the flow of negative or positive ions to maintain a steady state ch charges distribution between the oxidation and reduction this basically it is uh the connection between two half cell okay so now there is two type of electrochemical cell number one electrolytic cell number two baltic cell what is the difference electrolytic cell is uh that cell in which electric energy from an external source cause non spontaneous chemical reaction one electrolytic cell there is non spontaneous chemical reaction and second there is delta g greater than 0 whereas in baltic cell it is a spontaneous chemical reaction and produce electricity and its supply with the delta g is lesser than 0 this is the main difference both type of cell contain two electrode and connected to an external circuit that provide an electric connection between the system when circuit is closed it means that when switch is on then electron flow from anode to cathode anode to cathode and electrodes are connected by an electrolytes which in an ionic solution or solution that allow ions to transfer between the electrode therefore it maintaining the system of electric energy already we did in this uh, diagram in this diagram we have done so after this uh, we are you know, we will we need to talk about the basic function of electrode the electrode are surface on which oxidation and reduction occur electrodes are the main part of the electrochemical cell in which oxidation reduction occurring so we need to uh, get the basic knowledge about the electrode we should have basic knowledge about the electrode so they may or may not be participate in the reaction if they do not react that is called inert inert electrode those kind of electrode is called inert electrode which is not participate just suppose standard hydrogen electrode sh he after this next topic is sh he we will study about standard hydrogen electrode which is inert electrode which often used so that they do not affect product of electrolysis the external power source act as electron pump the electric energy is used to do the work on electron to cause the electron transfer the electron pump pump is helping to transfer the electron from one part to another part one electrode to another electrode okay and this is very important try to understand electrons are pulled how electron is moving from one electrode to other electrode okay so basically electron are pulled from anode and pushed to the cathode by the battery or power supply battery and power supply battery and power supply help the electron to move from one part of rod to another part of rod so regardless the kind of cell electrolytic or baltic the electrode are identified as following so this there is no knowledge of electrolyte maximum time i have seen that students are getting confused with cathode and anode so this is the slides that will clear your all the doubts so please pay attention and see what is cathode cathode is defined as the electrode at which reduction occur okay one one is that cathode in which reduction occur anode in which oxidation occur cathode in which reduction occur and anode in which oxidation occur now from the oxidation you know loss of electron it mean that at anode there is loss of electron and uh, what is reduction reduction is gain of electron it mean that it is cathode where electron is gaining so in cathode electron will gain and in anode ox electron will lose okay so it occur gain of electron and it occur the loss of electron so here example is there copper plus zinc two positive will give copper two positive for zinc so you can see here there is two loss of two electron loss of two electron whereas in this case gain of two electron is there so when this is this is a uh, basic example of redox reaction now we will understand oxidation reduction here copper where loss of two electron that is called oxidation zinc where gain of two electron that is called reduction so each of these can either the positive or negative electrode in electrolytic cell anode is positive while cathode is negative in electrolytic cell anode is positive while cathode is negative okay so uh, basic uh, um, need to understand the sodium chloride we will electrolyze the sodium chloride we will break down the sodium chloride so you can see here this is one rod this is second rod and electrolyte is sodium chloride here inside this in which sodium is gaining one electron when sodium gain one electron 
gain of electron is reduction it means that on sodium rod reduction is occurring on chlorine oxidation is occurring okay because chlorine is losing one electron when chlorine lose one electron that is called anode and when sodium gain an electron that is called cathode okay so this is the overall reaction and here you can see at the microscopic level uh, chlorine is uh, uh, negatively charged here now it is uh, in case of uh, electrolytes electrolytic cell okay so next is voltic cell now two type of cell is there electrolytic cell and voltic cell first we will talk about voltic cell voltic cell is also known as galvanic cell this is a like a simple cell with that we are using in daily life in remote in any car battery or in any torch okay so it in this electron flow spontaneously from negative electrode negatively charged electrode to positively charged cathode it transfer electron from negatively charged anode to positively charged cathode dear students try to understand uh, the basic difference in voltic cell the electron transfer from anode to cathode okay and whereas in electrolytic cell electron transfer from cathode to anode so composed of two parallel half cell it is made up of two half cell in which each consists of metal rod that is called electrode inside the solution which is called electrolyte okay that is basic uh, science now the electrode are connected by buyer and the circuit between the two cell that is completed by a salt bridge there is salt bridge the main function of salt bridge is to uh, connect the the two half cell and maintain the neutrality of reaction okay this can be any medium through which ion can slowly pass through salt bridge ion can slowly pass to each other so the electron flow from the anode to cathode through the electric circuit rather than passing directly from the substance to another okay so it means that electron is transferring through the electric circuit so that we understood with the help of this diagram we will also understand here suppose zinc and copper is two electrode immersed in zinc sulfate and copper sulfate in which zinc is negatively charged anode and copper is uh, positively charged anode it means that electron transfer from negative anode to positive cathode okay and if there's this side there is loss of electron so it will call loss of electron is called oxidation and it is anode and it is negatively charged so you can keep it with the full form of lone on the other hand side there is a right hand side right hand side reduction is occurring and reduction is occurring cathode is there and it is positively charged so r r c p so you can keep right hand side r r c p and this side l o a n just to keeping your mind uh, in your mind what is uh, anode is right side or cathode is right side so loss of electron is called oxidation and it is anode which is negatively charged this is the meaning of lone full form of lone on the other hand side there is a reduction on right hand side in which cathode is positively charged okay so in this way you can keep uh, the voltic cell so what is oxidation in this case zinc which losing one electron uh, which losing two electron that's why it is called oxidation because loss of electron is oxidation on the other hand side two electron is gained by copper which is called reduction that's why oxidation reduction occurring and overall reaction is showing us total redox reaction in which zinc is losing uh, losing two electron and copper is gaining two electron so this process is called redox reaction and here you can see practically this is zinc rod zinc rod become thin because it lose all the electron and on the other hand side electron is deposited in copper it is showing the deposition and it is gain of electron okay hope so you understood next is uh, about electrolytic cell no no history of classification this you ignore this is second type of cell that is electrolytic cell in electrolytic cell it is non spontaneous chemical reaction whereas voltic cell was spontaneous chemical reaction in which uh, it occur in the input of electric energy it means that electric energy need to be put to break down the chemicals okay so it is conversion of electric energy into chemical energy so in electrolytic cell it consists two electrode as seen and electrolytes and external power but here cathode is negatively charged whereas in case of voltic anode was negatively charged here and in this case cathode is negatively charged and uh, whereas in voltic cell cathode is positively charged whereas here anode is positively charged so this is the main difference now what is the main uh, basic difference that we need to do number 1 on the basis of emf it require emf it produce emf so galvanic cell is used to produce emf now what is emf electromotive force our next topic so uh, in case of electrolytic cell it require emf it require electric energy okay it produce electric energy simply it require electric energy second second electric energy in this case electric energy convert into chemical energy e e convert into ce whereas in this case chemical energy convert into e uh, ec electric energy okay in this case anode is positive charge cathode is negative charge whereas in galvanic cell anode is negative charge cathode is positive charge in case of electrolytic oxidation take place at anode and reduction at cathode 
it depend on positive negative again and in case of galvanic cell oxidation takes place in anode and reduction takes place in cathode here in case of electrolytic discharge of ion occur at both electrode where in case of galvanic cell discharge of ion occur only at cathode it is non spontaneous reaction whereas galvanic cell spontaneous chemical reaction these are irreversible reaction these are reversible reaction and uh, uh, these are the basic differences now two similarities are there also the basic similarities are flow of electron is from anode to cathode whereas in case of this also flow of electron is from anode to cathode this is similarity electron leaves the cell at anode and enter the cathode here also electron leave the cell at anode and enter in the cathode so dear students learn this difference this is also coming uh, uh, some time of two marks the difference between electrolytic cell and galvanic cell so this is all about for today hope so you understood this this was the basic re uh, revision of all the topics that we have done from tomorrow we are going to move for forward so conclusion is that electrochemistry is the chemistry of conversion of chemical energy into electric energy and vice versa okay chemical energy into electric energy is in galvanic cell and uh, sorry chemical energy into electric energy is in electrolytic cell and electric energy into chemical energy is in galvanic cell okay so basically we did electrochemical cell voltaic cell galvanic cell these are all same and basic last slides were related to difference between electrolytic and electrochemical cell so hope so you enjoyed this video and uh, understood everything so thanks for watching this video dear students uh, i want to appeal once again day by day the situation is becoming more worst in india as well as in himachal so stay home stay safe take care of yourself take care of your family and uh, pass this message to your parents also ki mean they have to become corona warrior not corona carrier so have a nice day this is your, uh, your chemistry teacher so thanks thanks a lot from my side okay.